Hey, Kevin, your budget travel guy here, and today I'm going to tell you how to make sure you never get eaten by a shark, or at least put the odds in your favor. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm really not going to call this a product review, and I make no money off of this product if you choose to buy it. But I am going to post a link to it so you can check it out yourself. And we're talking about shark attacks. There are shark attacks in this country every year, unfortunately. Not a lot, but it happens. Yesterday, there was a lady that was killed right off of the coast of Maine. And as far as they know, this may be the first death they have ever had attributed to a shark in that particular area. But it's happened a lot down through the Carolinas, off the coast of Georgia, Florida, all down into that area, sometimes in the Pacific. So there's two basic ways you can make sure that this does not happen to you when you're traveling to the coast and enjoying the beach and enjoying the ocean. The first one is simple. Don't go in the water. Assuming you want to go in the water and have fun, splash around and play, and hey, I once lived at the beach for six months. I enjoyed it. So, option number two is to use a product called Shark Eyes. That's right, Shark Eyes. And here's the theory behind it. When sharks are getting ready to make dinner of something, they really don't want whatever it is looking back at them and if whatever it is has really large eyes, they think, hmm, maybe I'll just not do this. Maybe I'll go after something smaller later. And what shark eyes are, are essentially decals, stickers, decals, of giant eyes that you could put on yourself that you could put on your surfboard, whatever that you're using out in the water. So when the shark comes around and it's looking for that school of fish or that seal, it will see these giant eyes and it will decide to go on somewhere else for its meal. Some of you have probably already quit watching this. The rest of you are probably laughing at how silly this is. But there's actually some logic and some science that this is based on. One, some of these shark experts swear that this works. Number two, in India and in some of these countries, and I remember seeing this years ago in documentaries, they had a lot of villagers in poor, desolate sections that were being attacked, maimed, and killed by tigers. And they went as far as having face masks made so they would essentially have eyes on the back of their head as they were walking outside of their village to their garden or back to their home or wherever they happened to be going to. And here's the interesting thing. It worked. The number of humans that got attacked by tigers actually went down. Because it seems that tigers really don't want to have a face-off against someone. They want to sneak around and come up behind it and be able to jump you and attack you and when you're really not looking. And it seems that sharks kind of do the same thing in the way that they track their prey and wait for that opportune moment to go in for the attack. What does this have with, to do with van life or RV life or camping? Hey man, a lot of you probably like going or want to go someday. If you're like me and never got to do it growing up, you dreamed of being able to go to 
the coast and hang out and play in the water and, and do these things. Maybe you want to do surfing or, or some of these water sports. Maybe you just want to wade out so far. I can tell you I have camped on beaches. I have camped down the Gulf in Texas and in places where you can walk right out on the water and the people are out fishing 10 feet off the coast and water up to their waist and there are little sharks swimming around. People will accidentally catch them while they are fishing for other things on the pier. Of course these are little sharks but you can see how in some areas you could end up with larger sharks which seems to be happening more and more and more every year off the coast in this country. So if you dream of spending time at the coast and if you dream of spending time in the water you may want to consider investing in some shark eyes just as an extra layer of protection and some of you probably think I'm making this up I am not making this up this is the real deal I would not do this to you you are my friends so if you follow the link down in the description or I'll put it right here you can go to the official USA website see what these things cost I make money by having you follow some links and some products. I don't make a penny off this at this point. I just want you to see it. And I would love to hear your opinions on this product down in the comment section. And with that said, we'll get back on our next videos to real van builds and van life and touristy places to go to and other products that you may actually have a much better chance of purchasing but in the meantime let me know what you think check this out down below and we'll talk soon of course if you're wondering what to watch next at the end of this video it should show you links to a couple of videos or if you go down in the description also you can scroll down, you can see links to other recent videos on this channel you may have missed. See what interests you, watch some of those. Hopefully you'll be entertained by those too, or at least learn something. Yeah. Stay safe.